everyone, welcome back to the driver's room in the Sunday League again today, season 5, round 2, tier 1, and we're racing at Monza, the group 3 BMWs. Pole position today is Flapjack, second place on the grid myself, DJ Rice, third place today is Kuska, starting fourth today is Alex, race winner, the opening round of the season. Fifth on the grid today we have Julio. Sixth on the grid today Martin B making his first appearance in the Sunday League this season. Uh, seventh place on the grid Mr. Sean. Uh, eighth place on the grid we have oh, eighth place we have Desla. Uh, ninth on the grid today we have Mangino. Uh, tenth on the grid today is JC. Qualifying 11th is Rocker. In 12th place we have Muller. 13th place today, NDR Mercer. 14th place is Bullet. 15th we have Avano. And in 16th on the grid today is Full Stake. Uh, full grid for round two, season five. Monza, let's get underway. Here we are then, season five, round two, tier one, the DRSL. Flapjack on pole, myself in second, unusually high qualifying position for myself. Let's see how we get on to the very, very tight opening chicane of Monza. And that's quite a bit of wheel spin off the line from myself. Good start from Flapjack, looks like he's got away cleanly. So I'm bogging down a little bit, may find myself under pressure going into turn one and Flapjack maintains the lead as most of the front runners run it, running a little bit deep there. Myself running wide on the exit, Flapjack doing enough to maintain the lead at the moment with Kuska in second, but does have the inside. It's a long right hander, Flapjack should be able to defend into turn three. He's still in fourth place. Oh, and that's myself just taking a little bit of avoiding action there, under braking, and uh, luckily not collecting anyone. Recovering right at the back of the track now. JC's had an incident somewhere as well. Uh, yeah, I see myself right at the back of the pack. A little bit further up now. Cusco first, Flapjack second, Mark, uh, Alex in third, Martin B in fourth, Desla in fifth, Coolio in sixth. Well, it's made up a lot of places on this opening lap. This is, uh, oh, that's a uh, little bit of contact between Desla and Coolio, and Desla has a spin, falls right back. And I think, yeah, Coolio is just off the throttle there, but this is a bit awkward. He's got five or six cars at full pace coming by him. but yeah I think Coolio just feeling a little bit of fault there and looking to yield the place but Desla's still recovering in the Scari somewhere oh and there's uh, a lot of pinball in there as that chasing pack were coming through past uh, slowing Coolio and it just got a little bit too a little bit too busy I think we've lost Coolio from the race now as well self recovering in 12th uh, just tucked up behind full stake at the moment. Varno in 13th, and yeah, Desla recovering in 14th place. As we go back through the grid, I think Mangino's got an overtake done through the chicane there, but has run, run wide on the exit and has lost a lot of places. So you've got struggling to keep up with this. On the opening lap, you've got Bullet up into 5th place from 14th on the grid and running in clean air. Now he's avoided all that carnage on the opening lap and Mercer the same, 6th place up from 13th on the grid. He does have Rocker and Mr. Sean very, very close behind. Mr. Sean just doing enough there to stay ahead of Rocker at the moment. And this bunch of cars all close up together again. Muller in 9th, myself in 10th place now. Action all throughout the field. Very, very difficult to stay on top of this one at the moment. But uh, Rocker putting Muller under, uh, Rocker putting Mr. Sean under pressure at the moment. It's allowing MJ Armour to a bit of breathing room to get away down the road as Mr. Sean and Rocker are side by side coming up to Ascari. It's 
uh, and Rocker has got a full car length ahead and someone running wide in the background there I think that might be Muller running a little bit deep he's lost a bit of pace and he's under pressure from full stake there as well and it looks like Mr Shong's had a poor exit out of this guy with chicane and that is myself moving up into 8th place and positions changing throughout the field all over the place at the moment and uh, yeah, we'll have a run through the grid properly in a minute, just trying to catch as much action as possible. Coming onto the home straight now, Mr. Sean, uh, right in my gearbox, just touching the grass there. Um, so, I'm not choosing to go defensive, this has allowed Mr. Sean a look into turn one. And it looks like he's got that move done pretty comfortably up into eighth place. Self having an untidy exit there again, Muller in 10th. Full mistake in 11th. Uh, Avano in 12th, Desert 30th, Mungino down in 14th. So Mungino's had an instant there. Uh, instant there, looks like that may well be a retirement. Flapjack still in the lead of the race, four and a half minutes gone. And uh, a bit further down the field, you've got Muller running in 9th at the moment. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was. Was he behind me? Pretty sure he was. He was behind me. He's now up into ninth yet because full stake right behind me now put me under pressure. And Mr. Sean and Dave Miller in ninth, myself in tenth. Full stake closely following in eleventh place with the slipstream. Let's have a look at the front of the pack as looks like I've done just enough to stay ahead there. So Cusker still in first, Flapjack in second but is starting to fall behind now as uh, Alex and Martin B really starting to close up in third and fourth place respectively. Flapjack could be under pressure at the end of this straight, at the end of lap three coming on to lap four. And yeah this should be a pretty textbook move, Flapjack not defending that too much. Well, not at all really and Martin B slipping through as well so Flapjack losing two places on the straight there Alex moving up to second place Martin B in third now Flapjack down to fourth and a little bit further back with Ad Rocker has got a move done on Mercer moves himself up into sixth place uh, 1 minute 48.6 Rocker on a bit of a charge at the moment about a second and a half quicker than Mercer on that lap, on that last lap. It's uh, Mercer looking to fight back as soon as possible. This could allow Mr. Sean to close the gap up behind. As uh, looks like I've closed the gap up to Miller up ahead a little bit as well. MJR Mercer right on the gearbox of Rocker just needs to position himself well could get moved on before Ascari here if he is close enough but um, it doesn't look like it so he's coming up to the braking zone now and now Rocker maintaining 6th place MJR Mercer in 7th back to the front of the race you've got Martin B putting Alex under pressure coming towards the end of lap 4 now and again, this could be a pretty textbook move into turn one. Really not a lot you can do uh, to defend. So Alex moving to sort of moving to the right hand side of the track. But again, choosing not to defend. So Martin B up the inside should be comfortably into second place now. He slows the car down nicely. The apex well up into second place. So Alex down to third now. So hopefully an interesting battle. Uh, pl plenty more battles between these two to come throughout the season. As well as guys like Kuska, who at the moment comfortably in the re comfortably in the lead of the race on the harder compound as well. It's worth noting. So Kuska on the racing softs. Martin Alex on the super sauce, Flatjack on the super sauce also. Most of the grid, most of the grid opting for the softest compound today. 
Uh, Bullet doing well, still in fifth place, consistent times now, settling into his race, found himself in a really good bit of clean air at the end of lap one. Rocker is still doing well, setting good lap times in six, but Mercer not letting go. Uh, Rocker really not ma managing to shake, uh, shake Mercer at all. It's coming up. Saw Ascari again, Mr. Sean Matt is starting to close the gap up as Mercer and Rocker are side by side now. Oh, this will be interesting going through here. A little bit of door rub in there. As uh, Mercer just losing traction and Rocker shoots straight back up. Another bit of door rub in there. And they're both just about maintaining speed. And uh, yeah, this has allowed Mr. Sean right up as they're free abreast coming into the final corner now. Mr. Sean with the inside line. Well, I could just know where to turn. And in turn, this is allowing Muller to start uh, close the gap up behind. So you've got three cars right for sixth, seventh, and eighth now. Mr. Sean comes out on top. But it will be in plenty of danger going into turn one as Enzo Mercer moves out to uh, get the overtake done into turn one. Again, just needs to slow the car down nicely. Meets the first apex well. Clean exit out of chicane. So MJ Mercer back up into sixth place now. Mr. Sean in seventh. Rocker down to eighth place. And as I say, Muller right in the slipstream of Rocker now. Turn this into a four car fight. The seventh, eighth, uh, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. As Rocker and Mr. Sean running side by side now. Rocker just getting a bit of a toe from Mercer up ahead. Again, plenty of door rubbing going on through the chicane. And yeah, Muller's just slips himself through up the inside and into eighth place now. It's Mr. Sean falling victim and now myself in tenth place turning this into a five car fight five car fight potentially. Kicking off all over the place at the moment. So Miss uh, MJ Mercer getting away from this pack a little bit and uh, it's all bunching up behind again. Miller and eighth Mr. Sean and myself 9th and 10th and someone up ahead had a wide exit Miller's had a really wide exit there he's lost a bit of speed and it looks like Mercer's under pressure from Rocker again as Rocker takes a look to the inside of the final corner moves himself up into 6th place but again we'll be in danger with the uh, overtake as uh, <laughs> myself running really deep into the final corner there uh, Mr. Sean just cutting back into 8th place Muller close behind, Muller peeling off into the pits here on 11 minutes, so Mason setting himself up for a two-stop uh, strategy today. First man on the uh, on track to pit, I think. As yet, yeah, MJ Mercer did relinquish fifth, uh, sixth place temporarily and regains it through the slipstream down the main straight. Nearly, nearly putting a wheel onto the uh, gravel there. A fantastic fight between these two. There's a... Uh, Mr. Sean and myself just dropping back a little bit off of these two guys and Rocker moves himself up. But MJ Mercer just moving to the left hand track, left hand side of the track to take the defensive line. And Rocker getting the move done around the outside there. Well, that was a fantastic overtake, really clean as well. MJ Mercer back into seventh place and Rocker with a really good overtake there. Back up into six. Twelve minutes gone now and uh, we'll have a quick run through the grid. I don't think anything has changed up front. We've got Cusker in first place still. Uh, might be in second. Cusker 48.7. Really, uh, really good lap times on the harder compound. Might be in second place. Still closely followed by uh, Alex in third. Uh, Flapjack just dropping off a little bit. Uh, in fourth place now. You see if Bullet just flashing into the picture in fifth. Uh, just look at the lap delta zero. Bullet 50.0. Uh, you can't ask for much more consistency than that. And as Bullet is having a nice quiet race up front, it is still kicking off between Rocker and Mercer behind as uh, they're trading places and trading pain. And Rocker again looks like he's going to be into the lead going onto the main straight and will find himself under pressure again going into turn one. Mr. Sean really close behind as well this time. So uh, keep an eye on this into turn one again. full state pitting in the background there as well 
and Mercer's got the very inside of this, does move himself back up into sixth place, again just struggling to keep it tidy on the exit and allows Rocker back in and Rocker having a better track position coming into turn three, uh, turn, be turn four or five for the next chicane. Got the inside line, but Rocker did get the overtake done on the outside on the previous lap. See what Mercer can do from this position, and it looks like he has done the exact same thing. <laughs> so, Rocker keeping the speed up well, really good racing here in the midfield. Rocker around the outside back up to six, but oh, he runs wide out onto the gravel there, though, and that has allowed myself through, I think. And Mercer in six, Sean up to seven, myself in eighth. Rocker still. Very, very tenacious today, keeping the speed up on the very, very ragged edge of the track. But I think he's just going to have to yield for this one, as I might just be picking up the toe of Mr. Sean up ahead. Just about get a car length ahead. Going into Ascari as we'll slot single file with MJR Mercer leading everyone out in sixth place. So coming up to the halfway point of the race, I was just about to say, I think the leaders will be pitting. So you've got the Cusker into the pits, Martin B into the pits, Flapdack into the pits. Uh, yep, there we go. So this, the, all these guys come round now. There's a bullet pitted as well, I think. And uh, we'll just keep an eye on who rejoins the track in the lead. And looking at the graphic there, it's Martin B, who has... He has taken on a lot less fuel than Cusker on that pit stop. Uh, still over half a tank of fuel to go with 15 minutes, but um, has a lot of fuel saving to do if he if he wants to keep this going till the end. With most cars using around 60, close to 70% of fuel in that opening stint. That's Cusker taking on 75% for this uh, final stint. But yeah, losing track position there. So you've got Martin B in the lead of the race now. Cusker in second, Alex rejoining in third, Flapjack rejoining in fourth. Uh, Desna choosing not to pit. So, track position at the moment, fifth place for Desna. Um, we're going to CJ up into sixth place now after that uh, very early pit stop. Just getting the undercut done on quite a few cars. But, uh, well, quarter tank field definitely has to pit again. Right, Mr. Sean. Oh, looks like Mr. Sean has jumped bullet in the pits as well. So, Again, choosing not to fuel and just over a quarter of the tank, Mr. Sean, I don't think he's going to be able to fuel save that till the end. I think he has committed to a two stop of that. And a bullet rejoining in eighth place for now. Out on the fresh rubber, self running a little bit wide down the background. Rejoining in ninth, MJR Mercer in tenth, Rocket in eleventh. So, so the fight carries on between these two in a minute. Full stake on the racing mediums actually, just ahead of Avano in 13th, also on the racing medium, so a little battle for 12th and 13th developing between those two guys. So 16 and a half minutes gone now. Might be coming round, finishes out lap on the start of lap 10. So graphic jumping around a little bit there. Um, I thought that was overtakes, but that was not even close. So Cusker coming through to start lap 10 in second place. Alex in third, flat jack and fourth. And we've got Desla pitting in fifth place. This does release Muller, who uh, skinny on fuel now, does need to really nail a good couple of laps while he's got clean air. Oh, Mr. Sean in sixth place. And uh, pull it up to seventh place now. Myself in eighth, MJL Mercer in ninth. Rocker in 10th, there's the rejoining the race in 11th place. Should be good to the end now. And uh, so a couple of cars ahead, I think, are committed to another pit stop. Now, the lead of the race, Martin B. It's got a lot to do from here, I feel. So, BMW really thirsty around Monza. 48.8 last lap, 48.5 from Cusker, so a little bit quicker. Just starting to reel Martin B in. He's gone for the harder compound as well, so definitely feeling comfortable on the race and softs today. Carrying really good speed with them as well. Alex in third place. Flapjack in fourth. And then you've got a bit of a gap back to the rest of the field. Miller CJ in fifth. See if you can get another lap in. Again, 
closer to the 20 minute mark. Mr. Sean running in six. So this midfield battle, quite a bit of field spread between these guys now. There's a six down to 10th where pretty much nose to tail at one point. As soon as the race goes on, if they start to close up again. Look at these lap times. That's Muller pitting on the end of lap 10, so uh, I'm sure it'll take on enough fuel, be uh, more than capable of getting those tyres to the end. So this will be his last pit stop of the race. Uh, Mr. Sean running a fifth, 149.5, 149.4 from Bullet on that last lap, setting his personal best and closing the gap a little bit to uh, Mr. Sean 487 for myself, so finding a little bit of pace. At this stage of the race, 49.4 from Mercer, 49.6 from Rocker, similar times between those two. And uh, Muller, Muller rejoining in 11th, so both Des and Muller good to the end now. So I have to uh, keep an eye on those lap times, see if Muller can start to close up on Des like up ahead. Just looking at that, I think Kuska has is starting to close the gap up on the Martin B up ahead. Alex staying in touch with his fight as well. Again, we'll just keep an eye out on these lap times. See if Kuska was making any ground. Radically uh, different fuel levels. Between these two cars, 486, 482, just uh, around three temps on that last lap. 481 from Alex, so yeah, Alex a lot quicker at the moment. I think has the purple lap on lap 10 as well, 477. And a little bit further down the field, you've got me pitting for some reason. Um, maybe just trying to. Uh, Not too sure really, but um, anyway, Pitting rejoining in ninth place with Desla coming up at full speed behind. Might well get the move done. I think I've got out just ahead, but uh, bin it on the exit. And that allows Desla up to ninth place. So uh, myself down to 10th now, but we're not closing the gap up behind. And then Looking at the front of the race again, Cusker has really closed the gap up on Martin B. He's right in the slipstream now. As he looks, thought about the move into a scar, he goes purple on that lap as well. So uh, Cusker really on it now. Don't think there's a lot Martin can do. As you can see, nearly a quarter of a tank of fuel difference between these two cars. I think Martin B has just left himself a little bit too much to do. On the fuel save, fuel saving side of things, and uh, yeah, Cusca comfortably up into first place. So it might be if it all to do now. Second's got a fast approaching Alex behind. And, uh, saying that, he has got the toe. Is he going to make a move back into first place? And it looks like it in the turn one as he peels to the inside. Yeah, comfortably gets some move done. I think Kuska just napping there a little bit. Was definitely in a position to defend that. But chose not to, might be. Moves himself back up into first place. Kuska in second. And uh, looking to get the move done again. As he moves to the inside with the next chicane. And comfortably does move himself back up into the lead of the race. And uh, Alex right on the tail of Martin B now. Yeah, 49-1 last time round for Martin. Losing a second to Alex. Yeah, this looks like Alex will be looking to get the move done soon as well.
Max does move to the inside. Towards the end of the lap 13, but again, we'll see if Martin can get the move done at the end of the straight if he do, does lose track position here. Just needs to slot in behind. I don't think Alex is close enough to Cusker, so if Alex has lost, lost the toe from Cusker up ahead, Martin B could well move himself back up into third, uh, back up into second place here. And again, does move to the inside. And not many drivers choosing to uh, choosing to defend turn one. And uh, Alex really late on the brakes there. A fantastic bit of defence there from Alex. I was expecting a textbook move from Martin up the inside there. We've got Mr. Sean pitting in the background as well. But uh, Alex doing well there. Up into second place and flat jack in fourth, but it's still in fifth. I say still in fifth. I think he, he's got some moves done to get himself back up there. And uh, Rocker running well in sixth place as well. Yeah, Mr. Sean Pitting does rejoin the race in tenth place. And uh, got myself moving up into ninth. And again, been in it on the exit of the chicane. And uh, probably going to lose that place to Mr. Sean in a minute. But yeah, again, quick mention the uh, bullet retaining fifth place and Rocker in sixth. Uh, both these guys having really good races today. MJR Mercer looking to close the gap up again. In seventh, we've got Desla running in eighth place now and just catching myself having a spin. And uh, Mr. Sean up into ninth place, Muller in tenth. Myself down to eleventh, Varno twelfth and full stake in thirteenth. Yeah, that's, um, let's have a quick run through the grid. There's a, uh, starting to get a little bit of field spread now. There's a race, uh, less than five minutes of this race, race left to go. Cusker in first place. Reasonable gap back to Alex in second. Martin B still close to Alex in third. As you can see, he's just not getting close into turn one, so I think he's going into a lean fuel mix down the straight now. He's down to an eighth of a tank. Uh, Flapjack in fourth. Keep an eye on the lap times of Flapjack as well, as he might well be, be able to put some pressure on Martin towards the end of the race. But, uh, 48 7 from Martin last time around, 48 3 from Flapjacks, so four tenths quicker. 49 2 from Bullets, starting uh, still finding pace at this stage of the race. He looks to really cement that fifth place now. As uh, Rocker also uh, with quick times behind, so Bullet does need to keep it consistent until the end. So uh, I think Mercer fancies another fight with Rocker before this race is finished. 49-1, so a little bit quicker. Uh, Mercer behind, he's closing that gap a little bit, Desa 48.5, uh, quicker than the two cars in front. So, uh, three minutes left to go, could well get himself in a position to fight for one of those places at the end of the race. Uh, Mr Sean in a reasonably comfortable ninth place at the moment, so 1 minute 50 uh, last lap, 1 minute 48.9 from Muller, so Muller a second quicker. Uh, myself I think consolidated to 11th place now. Uh, Ivan, Ivan, not actually that far behind in uh, 12th, but uh, worn racing mediums now. And um, full stake on slightly worn racing softs. He might well be able to close the gap up to Ivano ahead. Back with the leader in the race, Cusker. Doing more than enough to uh, retain first place at the moment. It's a tyre wear starting to kick in on Alex's car now. Not going to be able to push it to the limits as much as, he, as much as he'd like in these closing stages. Might be in third place and critical on fuel now. As so just dropping back from the toe of Alex up ahead, which is exactly what Flapjack needs. A 49, <coughs> excuse me, 49-4. For Martin B on that last lap, 48-3 from Flapjack. So Flapjack over a second quicker on that last lap. Less than two minutes left to go now. <clears throat> that final podium spot may well be up for grabs. 
but uh, Bullet's still consistently in fifth. Mercer in what's happened to Rocker? We'll have to take a quick look back at that one. So just rejoining the race a little bit further back while we was watching the leaders. Mercer has closed the gap in on Rocker and they decide to go side by side or nearly side by side for Ascari. It's uh, again trading a bit of, bit of paint between these two cars. Rock a little bit wide on the exit there. And uh, this compromised speed finds itself back in seventh. And uh, yeah, Desla was really quick. Uh, really quickly closing the gap up on these two up front. And our Rock had dissipating a penalty as well. He had a, nearly two seconds of penalty going into that corner. So that's why when we rejoined the action, we found Rocker in eighth place, so uh, shame really. He's looking forward to uh, another battle between Mercer and Rocker towards the end. It's uh, short lived, and uh, Rocker could find himself under pressure from Mr. Sean. Uh, both these guys, good for fuel, should be good to be going to go flat out to the end. Just obviously the tyre wear an issue. <coughs> in 8th place now. Miss Sean in 9th, Miller CJ setting his personal best of the race this, uh, late, at these late stages, starting to close the gap up on the guys up ahead. Uh, myself in 11th, should be safe from Vino in 12th and full stakes slowly closing the gap up. So 152 and a 151.6. So just around half a second quicker. Don't think there's enough laps left for a full stake to catch Vino now. But looking Alex running really wide out of the scary there, kicking up a load of gravel. <coughs> Excuse me, just about keeping the speed up though by the looks of it. But, uh, just rejoining Mai now, so coming up to their final lap. And might be close to running on vapours now. Flapjack going critical on the fuel behind as well. Again, let's just have a look at this. A 52 flat from mine, 49 flat. Three seconds gained on that last lap. Mine be really trying to stretch the fuel there, but yeah, not a lot he can do here. This flapjack does move up into third place, and so mine be just trying to get this car to the checkered flag now, Phil. <coughs> Again, flapjack very uh, tight on fuel as well. Don't think as much as Alex can do about Cusker up ahead. So unless, uh, unless it's a huge mistake from Cusker. He looks like he's on to take the chequered flag. And it uh, looks like Flapjack has taken the last podium spot on the final lap. Uh, Bullet, 1 minute 52, 1 from Bullets. I don't know if he's had a mistake somewhere. He's lost 3 seconds to Desla. Uh, not what he leads on the last few laps. Uh, uh, Des on an absolute charge now, so setting 48s and 49s. He's been, yeah, it's just that last lap. I think Bullet's had a mistake somewhere because he's lost a chunk of time. And uh, this has allowed Desla to uh, get a bit of a looking towards the end of the race. Uh, we've got some official finishes, but just joining the race leader now, Cusk can come around the final corner and looking to take the checkered flag round two. Race winner, congratulations, Cusk. Alex in second place, good result for Alex. Uh, third place for Flapjack, just getting rid of a penalty towards the end there, and yeah, Martin B completely out of fuel and just looking to uh, bring it home. Looks like he's just. Uh, Safe from these two is Desla and Bullet are side by side in the final corner as a Bullet getting a bit of a tank slapper on there. A little bit of contact between the two. Oh, there's a bit right, and Desla's lost the back end. Oh, he's completely lost the back end there, plants it into the barrier, and he's fully spun round. Bullet does, I think Mr. Sean just come flying through there at the end to take fifth place. Just to give that ending a little bit of clarity, 
Um, that was Mr. Shaw nicking fifth place on the line from Bullet at the end there. But yeah, full classified results. Cusker in first, Alex in second, Flapjack in third, Martin fourth, Sean fifth, Bullet in sixth, Desler in seventh, Rocker in eighth, Mercer in ninth, Muller in tenth, myself in eleventh, Ivano twelfth, and full stake in thirteenth. But that was the Drivers' Room Sunday League Season 5 Round 2 Tier 1. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Yeah.